Hi, this is Eddie Joe, and welcome to another video on my series on the Raspberry Pi. In today's video, we're going to be focusing on the scroll P hat or the scroll fat. I'm not sure how you say that, but let's call it the scroll P hat. As you can see, it's that little device over there, and you can see I've got it right over here. So it's a neat little one. It's a it's very similar to the um, unicorn hat that I showed you in the previous video, which is that one. Um, but in terms of what it can do, this one um, does not have any colors. It's only white and it does white LEDs. But it's a neat little hat for um, using together with your Pi Zero. So, um, and it's just something that I got off um, uh, Pi Maroni on the, on the Raspberry Pi's fourth birthday. I went to Cambridge and, um, and they were selling it, so I got it from uh, Pi Maroni. In terms of installation, um, they tell you exactly where you can find it and um, then you can just install it by following the instructions on the github and uh, you can also then install all the examples uh, example code some of the code uh, is in beta version so it's not to say that it works properly and i've tested all these codes and there's uh, three or four that didn't work um, with my with my raspberry pi zero um, and then uh, specifically the one i wanted to test was the scrolling text that didn't work there are two of them um, for whatever reason, but I managed to write my own code to make it work, which is quite cool, which is quite cool So let's have a look on the other side. So uh, here is the code that um, all the examples that I've uh, uh, Downloaded and then you can see there's one that is called the scroll text Joe, Just click there. Um, that's the one that I um, sort of uh, wrote myself that I adapted from one of the other piece of code which was the IP I think I used that code um, to then just change and write this one over here so uh, I'm going to show you all of these in action in a second so let's just have a look and see let's test all of them so I'm going to go to this one over here and um, I'm just going to run that code so I'll just press F5 and then we should have something that comes up here in a second Hopefully, there we go. So it's testing that all the LEDs are working, um, which is quite cool. So that's just a basic test that it's running through. And uh, I'll just gently put that down because this is slightly loose. I sometimes get a weird screen. But anyway, so uh, let me just come out of that one. So I'll just close that. And I'm going to kill the program over there, hopefully. Now, it does happen if you stop a program in the middle of the running that you will find that it is... Um, not you know it stops right there so if you want to clear your screen they have a neat little program that they um, do with it so uh, let me just go and close this test one because we're finished with that and i want to go to this one that says turn off all the leds simple little code two lines of code so if i run that one now you will see as soon as it's running let me just bring this up uh, once it's executed there we go and it's all turned off so it's executed it nicely so let me just go ahead and turn this one off and uh, I'll just keep that one running in the background. So the next one I want to show you is the another example, which is a CPU uh, Pi. So it gives you all sorts of information about the CPU, I think in terms of the how it's running. So I'm going to turn it like that and you can see that's how it's running and it will be very similar, if I just turn it back up, that will be very similar to that over there which you can see there which is just running on this little screen so if I just put it down gently like that and I'll just turn my my phone and now I'm just going to just click oh wait I've moved the mouse let me just leave the mouse completely still so it comes down right now I'm going to move my mouse I move my mouse all around now you can see how that's picking up so it's it's a uh, let me just stop <laughs> and you'll see it's dropping down again so that's quite cool um, something you can show so I'm just going to close that one and um, this um, I don't need that one anymore so I'm just going to stop there and what do we have here this is the IP you also get another one if I run that then hopefully this will just change and it shows the IP address um, of the Raspberry Pi which hopefully is gonna come into there we go so the IP there you can see it's starting to show an IP address um, of the Raspberry Pi so, uh, which is quite cool, and then I'm going to go ahead and just stop that one. Let me just go out slightly. I'll kill that one. So I'm looking over my phone as we go, and the IP we don't need anymore, so I'll close that. 
Another one is, uh, oh, that's just a progress one. I'm actually not going to show you that one. What I do want to show you is the scrolling text. So here is the bit of code that I've adapted and written, um, where I just import the um, the scroll fat, uh, import time and the system. And I've called this one uh, just testing scrolling text. And then the important part that you want to see is that one, which just says, hi, this is Edujo and I'm using the scroll fact, which is this little guy. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that one, and I'm going to just save that, and then I'm just gonna turn it, and it should, theoretically, if I just go much closer, you can see, hi, this is Edu and I'll just go slightly back. I'm using a scroll. That. that's quite cool that's quite cool so uh, yeah that's something I thought I'll, I'll just show you guys um, how this works and um, you can have lots of fun with it so I'm just gonna go ahead and close that I'm gonna close that one as well and I'm just gonna execute this code so just um, it just uh, kills all the LEDs off so it switches them off there we go and then I will just close that so as you can see my scroll thread is now switched off and it's quite cool. This is a neat little product. And as you can see, it just fits onto my, oops, I think I messed up my screen there. So uh, it's restarted. Ah, that's probably not a good idea to move it around so much. But anyway, there we go, neat little product. Um, if you enjoy that, please uh, remember to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.